Playing guitar growing up, I had several influences spanning a range of different genres, each a legend who worked hard to bring their own style to the forefront. More recently, an artist who has been striving for this is the rising multi-instrumentalist, producer and songwriter Tom Mish, selling out shows across the world in different countries and collaborating with other up-and-coming artists like Georgia Smith, as well as reaching 100 million streams on one album in three years is no easy accomplishment. Tom grew up in South London, in East Dulwich, where he still resides today, the son of a psychiatrist and artist. He grew up in a creative household. At a young age, he managed to learn the violin via the Suzuki method, a specialized ear training learning system for young children. He later attended Trinity College in Greenwich and studied jazz guitar for a year before deciding to drop out after his SoundCloud uploads consisting of both original works and remixes began to gain serious traction. Fast forward to the present and Tom has released three full-length albums along with numerous EPs. Even within his latest release, Geography, in 2018, you can clearly hear influences from a broad range of styles. But it's also easy to say that each of the 13 tracks have influences from many of them as well, not just a single genre. His music generates a sense of adventure to new and unexplored places on top of creating a feeling of mystery and thrill. Tom contrasts this feeling with masterful use of interweaving melodies and guitar solos that also evoke some kind of a busy life in a sprawling city, not unlike the one he comes from. Tom's influences have ranged from Kay Trinada, Jay Diller, Robert Glasper, Radiohead, the Isley Brothers and D'Angelo. This has given him a vast range of genres to take stylistic elements from. For example, in jazz and neo-soul, the use of 7th and ninth chords in their numerous forms, as well as non-diatonic voice leading and root movement are commonplace. There are also many more techniques that the genres can involve. Furthermore, he's learnt unique techniques from his influences. Jay Diller was one of them. Widely considered one of the greatest hip-hop producers to have ever lived due to his use of swing and obscure patterns in his drums, along with his innovative approach to sampling. Looking at an example of Tom's drum programming, even beyond placing the regular hi-hat, he's added a subtle element of natural swing by offsetting the kick and snare, a technique that he likely picked up studying Jay Diller's work. Examples of further groove analysis of Jay Diller's music by David Shortino goes into depth on how Jay Diller was an influence on musicians beyond him. In a 2017 interview with Idol magazine, Tom admitted that he was now producing for a more live setting in mind with a more cohesive sound demonstrating his will to evolve as a musician well after finding success. Looking towards the future, he's managed to garner the attention of and is working with the talented songwriter and singer Leanne Le Havas, as well as British garage and R&B legend Craig David. Tom is someone who has achieved so much by being unique in what he enjoys and by paying homage to his influences. He's testament to the notion that you can meet your heroes if you work hard enough on what you love. <laughs>